Today on the channel, from the power of the force, we've got Gardin, Panda Baba, and our old pal Hammerhead. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel as we continue our daily Star Wars unboxings. And today, we're back to the power of the Force with a few of the power of the Force major players, or maybe minor players, depending how you look at it. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs, make sure you hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And like I said, we're doing a little Power of the Force unboxings today. Some of my favorite figures, taking a trip back to the 90s. And today we're going to unbox some of the aliens. One of the most fun things about Star Wars is how they have crazy looking aliens and they're not scared to make them in figure form. Uh, and even the most minute characters, characters that have less than a minute, sometimes seconds of screen time, are lucky enough to get their figures made. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. The Gardinian, I don't even know how to pronounce this guy. Garandan, Gurandin, Long Snoot, Snout, Snoot, with Hold Out Pistol. Jeez, that guy's a mouthful. Uh, he was a little bit of a spy, I guess we'd call it. Our old friend Mom, Momonadon, we've seen him before in the past, and we're going to see him again here. And old Ponda Baba, two, some of the greatest Star Wars characters ever. So let's let's unbox uh, the Long Snoot, Long Snoot, Grindorn. Garen Dan, I'm never going to be able to pronounce this guy. It's just not going to happen. But there he is in the traditional Star Wars Power of the Force. Look at this Collection 2. Collection 3, Star Wars Power of the Force. Got him in his bubble there. You got the little hologram type picture to the side. Star Wars Power of the Force with Darth Vader up top, of course. Traditional packaging. Let's see the back there. There it is, the traditional packaging we're used to. Promoting the other lines, promoting some vehicles, a little glamour shot up top, UPC's warnings down below. There it is. Let's go. Let's open him up. See what's going on. Whoa, right off. See you later. Let's see what's going on here. See you later. All right, the old long snoot. Interesting character. He was a spy. He was letting them know what was going on on old Tatooine. A little blaster out. See you later. What do we got here? It looks like the cape is not removable. It's all underneath, which does really limit the articulation on his hands, uh, especially the right hand. Can't get out. He uh, is stuck in there with his cape and hood and all that fun stuff. This is the old long snoot. I don't even know what that means. I guess he's got a long snoot. Was there a short one? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but maybe there was an older figure that they made too short of a snoot snout. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Definitely not a must-have figure, but cool. Like I said earlier, I love it that they make all these little aliens, all these minute characters that most figure lines would not touch. Power of the Force line, not messing around. They said, you know what? We're going to make as many people as we can because guess what? We want as much money as we can. It makes sense. We're in the business. It's the toy business, as uh, some say. But I don't hate this figure. I love these minute characters, and I love the strange-looking aliens. There's definitely stranger-looking aliens than him out there, but I'll take him. I'll take him all day long. I don't remember, was he made in the original Kenner collection? I don't think he was, so this would, I assume, be his first figure. I could be wrong on that, but uh, that's the way I kind of remember it out there. So there it is, our old pal, the old long snoot. All right, next up, we've got Moma Nadon known and loved as Hammerhead. And this will actually be our second go around on a Hammerhead unboxing. Same with uh, Papa, gosh, Ponda Baba. There we go, geez. Uh, trying to remember all these guys' names off the top of my head. Uh, second go around with the old Hammerhead opening. As you guys remember, we opened him up in the past. And let me grab that right now, why not? This was from, uh, I don't even remember what the line was called, but it came with the Cantina Bar sections. Uh, so that's our first Hammerhead. I can smoke and mirrors and put him maybe somewhere else. Uh, but very similar figures, but different. Uh, the Power of the Forest a little bit bigger. Let's see. Let's open this one and we'll compare them. But there it is. We know that traditional packaging right there. Darth at the top. Get that little hologram to the side. As I remember from the previous unboxing, he was just a simple gardener. Just a simple gardener. Just trying to tend to his land. 
There's the back of the little classified picture up there. I wish there was more of a blurb on these, but uh, unfortunately not going to happen. Promoting the line down below, all the UPCs, all the other fun stuff down there. Looks like this was $3.99. Got to get a deal. Momon Nadon, hammerhead. Uh, height, 1.95 meters. Status, he's a scout. I thought he was a farmer. That's what it said in the last unboxing. Uh, Ithorian is his classification. Affiliation, the Rebel Alliance. Weapon of choice, the old blaster rifle. Yeah, and I believe he was kind of a spy, a scout, I guess. I mean, I think they ruined his garden, and away he went from there, and he said, I'm turning to the Rebel Alliance, the Empire. They ruined my garden. They ruined my crops. So there it is. <clears throat> All right, let's open him. Whoa. We're getting crazy here. See you later. Well, what do you do? What do you do? He is taped in pretty good. See you later. We lost the weapon, but that's quite the blaster for a simple gardener. Something's fishy. There he is in the old plastic prison. Looking only like he can look, as some might say. See you later. Whoa, knocking things over. Uh, typical power of the force. You got the legs, you got the arms, you got the head movement. <clears throat> uh, he's kind of got the Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, poncho thing going on. There's no removing this poncho unless you really want to work on it. And I don't know if you'd ever get it back. Uh, that's quite the big heavy hitter weapon here. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I guess you can use this one with the old one. I mean, maybe I'll use him at the cantina bar, and this one will be just a fighter in the background, uh, ready to go. Very similar creations. Actually, very similar figures. Uh, basically a repaint. Uh, just the different coloring tools. Uh, let's see if I move this vest up. Yeah, different body though, different waist and stuff, but the legs and the arms are the exact same, the head is the same, just some different tooling there. Uh, this one came with some cups to drink, this one came with a heavy heavy duty duty gunner arm. Uh, so, different char same characters, a little different concept on them, a little different colors. So really, you could say these are two different uh, hammerhead type characters out there. I think that's fair enough, and that's part of the things I love about Star Wars. Uh, some of the little changes, you know there's a whole species of these, so there could technically be hundreds of hammerheads out there. It's all up to your own imagination. So there it is. Now we got to get an old, old heavy hitter in here. Ponda Baba with blaster, pistol, and rifle. It's been an interesting one. So there he is in the package. Same thing applies to the other two, same packaging. And, of course, the background there. Looking beautiful. Looking only like he can look. The old walrus man. Height 1.85 meters. Smuggler and pirate is his status. Uh, his classification is Aqualish. Not Aqualong like Jethro Tall, but we're talking Aqualish. Uh, no affiliations. He's a man on his own. Blaster pistol, weapon of choice. So there it is. Uh, we unboxed one of these, uh, same as Hammerhead, in that cantina section. He came with a piece of the cantina bar. Uh, I had some issues with the knees on this one a little bit. Also a little sticky disease. But I did really like that his arm was removable on this one. I always thought that was a pretty cool feature. And he's a little loose on the legs. Yeah, so I don't know. You got some good, you got some bad. Some might say you take the good and you take the bad. And then you have the facts of life is what I've been told uh, throughout the years. Especially in the 80s. I, s I seem to have been told that a lot by my TV um, for whatever reason. But yeah, he's got a little loose legs. Uh, almost dangling on the hot garbage line there. Very close. Very close to hot garbage. Get this out of here. See you later. Two pistols for old Panda Baba. There he is. I almost wish he was in a different jacket, but that wouldn't make sense. This is what you want. So I'm going to have uh, two Panda Babas. I guess i got to choose which one do I like more. Hard. It's like picking between your children. See you later. Right at the camera. No removable arm on this one. Definitely tighter joints on this one. Uh, two weapons with this one as well. Give him this little blaster. Blaster got a little of that sticky disease, unfortunately. There he is. He looks all right. Let's see. Very similar to the other hammerhead. A lot of similarities. Same head, a little paint different. Uh, a lot of the... Eh, different coat, I think. Very similar, though. A lot of similarities here. The, the uh, waist piece is similar. The legs are obviously totally different. I just wish this one had a removable arm. I think I like the Power of the Force one better, even though this one has better articulation. It's just a little loose. I wonder if this weapon fits in here. Oh, yeah. So I might give him. So now he finally has that weapon he always needed. He didn't have the weapon in the pack. 
He's got one now. And then we'll use this one. It is what it is. It's funny on the back of the head how it looks like he's got like a skull cap on and that's his hair, but it's actually his walrus type head. Uh, but if I had to choose, I'm going to go with the power of the force over the regular one. Use my magic to make them stay. Uh, and then between the two hammerheads, I guess I'm going power of the force on both of them. Well, who would have thought that? The older line beating the newer line. I mean, they're both old lines at this time. Uh, but very, very interesting to know. But both all right figures. I like that I can smoke and mirrors this one and pretend it's two different characters in my setup. This one I'm going to have to choose. And I'm looking, leaning towards Power of the Force right now. But who knows? Maybe I'll have multiple Cantina Bar setups. I don't know. And then uh, as of right now, I think I might have another one. Uh, stay tuned. An unboxing to come for old Long Snout, Snoot, whatever you want to call him. Uh, as I do believe I have a more updated version of him that I will get to one of these days on the channel. So there you have it, a little Star Wars unboxings like we do every single day on the channel. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment your thoughts, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and until tomorrow when we have another Star Wars video, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.